Good morning, everyone. Welcome to my YouTube tutorials. Thanks for coming back. Today we're going to be covering something that not a lot of people know how to do, and it's actually quite simple. They're pretty impressed when you can do it. How to touch up your photos like a pro. And all you need is Photoshop and Internet Explorer. And, all right, so now you open Photoshop. Oh, my ride's here. And so we go to File, and we go to New. And when you have an image copied in your clipboard, uh, the new file that you open in Photoshop is going to have the exact right dimensions for you. It's very smart. Okay, so here we are. The first thing you want to do is go to the stamp tool. This is your bread and butter. This is the way you're going to go from amateur photo to professional photo. And what you do is you hold Alt, click on uh, an area with some flatness, and you go ahead and you correct the errors. Do you see what I'm doing here? The point is, take out all the little nooks and crannies, all the imperfections that made it impure. There we go. Okay, looking real good. Now I'm going to do the same over here. You can always undo in Photoshop. I wish you could do that in life a little bit more, because I think uh, we all deserve second chances. So I'm just getting rid of all this sin right here. And uh, when explaining death to your children, I think the best approach is not to treat them like kids. They are hopefully intelligent people who uh, understand abstract concepts. And so what you're going to want to do is you're just going to want to say, uh, let's say your child's name is Charlie. You say, Charlie, Grandma went up uh, to the sky. She's not here anymore. She can't talk to you. You can never see her again. And uh, it's not because she didn't love you. Persistence is the name of the game. People. Find those flat surfaces, take out the imperfections, take out all the sin, all the impurities. Yeah, see this one's pretty easy because there's not a lot of detail in this background image. Undo. You say, Charlie, you know how you can undo in Photoshop? Well, Grandma cannot undo. It was permanent. What happened to her was permanent. Okay. And it's not because she didn't love you. But what we're trying to do here is look professional. I don't want to cut any corners for you. I want to show you the whole kit and caboodle. So you get the blur tool, and you make sure all those imperfections are as soft as possible. Now that you've blurred it, this may seem a little bit contradictory. What you want to do is you go to the sharpen tool, go right back and sharpen. Oh, my ride's here. And just sharpen it on up. And you, you might say to me, you might say, why would you go and blur it if all you're going to do is just sharpen it right back up? And I say, that question frustrates me. But you can see, look at that. It's really coming alive here. Grandma didn't want to leave. She had to leave, and it wasn't up to anybody but the one. And don't forget about this guy in the background, because a lot of the time there will be pictures of guys in the background that you want to get. Here's where you could stop right here. This looks professional. What you could do is you go to Filter, Lens Flare. And lens flares are great because they really make it seem like everyone was in the room at the same time. I sometimes also like to play around with the gradient tool right here. It directs the eye straight to the sin. You know, it doesn't hurt to put two lens flares in occasionally. Just want to leave no stone unturned. Give it like a sepia tone. And there you go, it's ready for your mantle. Print it on up at your local FedEx Kinko's. Go to Aaron Brothers to frame it, and you're good. All right, so let's save this beauty. Mm, PNG is what we want, and let's name it. We're gonna call it the Consequences. Consequences. Uh, but it doesn't really matter. All right, well that's it. That's uh, that's the tutorial for this week. Feel free to comment. Leave your comments about your favorite experiences with Photoshop, your favorite experiences when sin clouded your life and blocked out the sun. And make sure that you update me on uh, how your own projects are going. Be sure to leave out any proper nouns, any pronouns about uh, location, turn off geotagging. Uh, if you don't hear from me in the next three weeks, it's probably fine. But after four weeks, I would start burning anything that links you to me. Um, and just have fun, just have fun with it, you know? I mean, it's not gonna come out great. Hang on. No! Get back in! Get back in!